Hello kiddos, April Daily Math number seven. All right, we have some place values. We have the digits of seven, two, and eight. What is the least number you can make with seven, two, and eight? Well, the smallest number is two, the next smallest number is seven, and the biggest number is eight, so 278. The, the greatest number you could make out of with those three numbers would be eight, seven, two. The biggest numbers to the smallest numbers. Okay, six, seven, and zero. What's the least number you can make using six, seven, and zero? Well, we're gonna make 67 because the zero doesn't really need to be there. So 67 is the smallest number we can make and the greatest number is 760. One, nine, and four. What's the least number we can make with one, nine, and four? Well, it would be one, four, nine. What's the greatest number we can make? Nine, four, one. 149, 941. April, let's see, time. How many minutes are there in an hour? In one hour, ooh, I hope most of you know that. There are 60 minutes in an hour. So how many minutes are in four hours? Well, if we look at four hours, we would have to say 60 four times, 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60, or 60 times four. So if you know how to do that, you could do that. It's 240. I bet lots of you got that right. All right, three digit subtraction. Rewrite the subtraction problem, then subtract. So we have 647 minus 319. So we have 647 minus 319. Four becomes a three. 17 minus nine is eight. I wrote that too big. Three minus one is two. And six minus three is three. So it's 328. Sorry, Mrs. Johnson wrote that kind of ski wampus. All right, draw the turnaround array. Well, there are three rows of five columns. Three by five is five plus five plus five. Five plus five plus five. So we have to do the turnaround array, which is gonna be five times three. So we're gonna have five rows of three columns. See how that is? It's the same thing as saying three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Five threes. Okay, capacity, how many equal a half a gallon? Well, cups, pints, and quarts. So there are four quarts in a gallon. We're gonna work backwards. There are four quarts in a gallon. So a half a gallon would have half that much, which is two. There are eight pints in a gallon. So half of a gallon would have half that much. That will be four pints. And cups, there are 16 cups in a gallon. So half that many is going to be eight. So see how it works. There are, there are twice as many in each thing. So two, two times the cups as in pints, two times the pints as in quarts, and two times the quarts as in, um, well, that's a little different. Anyway, okay. Money, use the fewest number of coins possible. $1.76. So we're only using coins, otherwise we'd use a dollar, but we're only using coins and we're gonna use a dollar 76. So 25, 50, 75, a dollar. That makes a dollar, those are all 25s. Then we gotta get 76 cents. 25, 50, 75. There's some more 25s. And then we're up to 26, 76 cents, so one more. Okay, word problem. I have 21 eggs that I want to give equally to seven of my friends. How many eggs will each friend get? Well, I have seven friends, so let's just make seven circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can split up the 21 eggs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21. How many does each kid get? They each get three. It's the same thing as saying 21 divided by seven. If you know how to do that, great. If you don't, draw a picture, split it up. All right, fractions. Write the fraction that is not shaded. So we have one third, not shaded, and we have two fifths, not shaded. All right, kiddos, have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.